What does a Google product marketing manager do? Being one of the biggest companies in the world, Google delves into providing various products and services, apart from being a search engine. Having multiple products, Google requires experts to promote them. A Google product marketing manager is the person responsible for handling the marketing side of things in their product management department. Product marketing at large-scale organizations like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and LinkedIn works a bit differently than it does at small-scale organizations. However, that doesn't mean there's any difference in their roles and duties. It's just the scale of the operations that changes the processes, methods, and techniques of product marketing. In this article, we'll go over what a Google product marketing manager does, what a Google APMM is, and how you can become one. Let's dive right in. What does a product marketing manager at Google do? A Google product marketing manager is responsible for the promotion and marketing of Google's products and services. From product release to the final stages of the product lifecycle, a Google product marketing manager is responsible for developing and managing a product marketing strategy. Furthermore, planning and executing those strategies to drive the growth of Google's consumer products. Depending on whether you're working from Mountain View, New York, San Francisco, or any other Google office, the product marketing manager's job changes slightly. It's not a role change, it's more of a change in the go-to-market strategy because of different audiences, marketing teams, and even competitive tech companies. Furthermore, a Google product marketing manager's job also differentiates based on the product or service they're responsible for. For example, Google PMMs for Android focus more on pushing the mobile OS into untapped markets. Similarly, Google Chrome, Gmail, Google Play, Google Cloud, and Google Ads all have their own Googlers working on pushing the product or service. Regardless of the product or service, Google product marketing managers have a few responsibilities that are present in all cases. A Google product manager is often given the marketing role if they can manage the following. 1. Working on the product strategy and marketing strategy. Google product marketing managers have to deal with the development of product strategies and marketing strategies. To be more specific, they mainly work on product strategy. A marketing strategy is considered to be a subcategory of product strategy. Usually, Google PMMs work with existing Google products and services, so they don't have to worry about a product launch or following a roadmap. However, product development is a large part of the product strategy that they work on, especially when it comes to consumer products. Any great product requires a robust product strategy to help maintain its position against competitors. Google product marketing managers have to take all that into account including current market, competition, and any prospects before finalizing a product strategy. 2. Actively promoting Google products. If you look at any product manager interview questions, You'll notice an emphasis on product promotion. That's because product promotion is the one aspect of the product strategy that remains constant, regardless of where the product is on its life cycle. For example, Google Ads is one of the most widely known advertising tools today. Yet, Google continues its Google Ads marketing campaign. That's why Google product marketing managers also have to manage all product promotion efforts. That can include presentations, blog posts, web apps, reports, social media campaigns, and video efforts. 3. Working closely with other teams. Google product marketing managers have to be a part of a cross-functional team because they have to work with several other departments. For example, they need to work closely with the engineering teams to ensure all marketing efforts reflect on the products and services. Similarly, they need to collaborate with the product owners finance department, and research department to maintain smooth communication. That is how they are able to work on new technological solutions, design features, and user experience enhancement projects. Developing a two-way feedback system, in this case, is critical to the productivity of the Google ecosystem. Consequently, 
any new features can instantly be incorporated into the product marketing efforts. Alternatively, valuable market research and insights gained by product marketers can be used by other teams to develop and implement user-specific changes. 4. Tracking the performance of the Google product or service Google PMMs also have to track the performance of Google products, projects, or even individual features being introduced. The metrics for tracking performance change depending on what needs to be tracked. For example, the performance of a single feature will be tracked based on how many people use it, how long they've been using it, and why they're using it. Alternatively, a product app may be tracked by its total downloads, reviews, and overall revenue. 5. Extrapolating new market trends Google PMMs also have to be vigilant for any new market trends. They have to follow and analyze new trends consistently to identify potential ways to reach customers. It also helps them identify market gaps, potential marketing opportunities, and chances for introducing the new product in the market. 6. Reporting to Stakeholders Every Google product marketing manager has to report to various stakeholders like senior management regarding any updates. Those updates can be performance reports, strategy updates, consumer research, ROI, customer churn rates, and more. The idea is to provide the necessary insights, reports, and data so that the upper management can make data-driven decisions. 7. Working on go-to-market strategies. This particular responsibility is mostly for Google APMMs who manage Google products that aren't available globally. They're responsible for creating go-to-market strategies when those products need to be introduced in a new market segment. Subsequently, Google PMMs have to manage market research to develop advertising plans, pricing models, and marketing strategies. 8. Developing Insights Google product marketing managers also have to develop insights and identify opportunities to feed existing product strategies. These insights can be product-based, feature-based, or could even be related to any single aspect of service. They can also help Google PMMs plan out product updates, new features, and in rare cases, the launch of new products. How much does a product marketing manager at Google make? According to Glassdoor, the average Google product marketing manager salary in the U.S. is around $156,055 per year. The salary ranges between $74,000 and $267,000. They also earn an additional average pay of $21,806 in the form of cash bonuses. Other than that, they also get stock bonuses that can go up to about $44,034 on average. That's much higher than the average product marketing manager salary in the U.S. that is $117,642 per year. However, it's less than the average Google product manager salary that is $162,306 per year. What is a Google APMM? The Google Associate Product Marketing Manager APMM, program is for professionals who want to get into the field of marketing. It's Google's attempt at creating next-generation marketers who drive strategic projects. It's a global program that lets anyone start in their country or region. Once you're into it, you can rotate internationally for your second role if you want. Every APMM has two unique roles during the program. These roles can be brand, product or growth marketing, depending on your preferences. The main objective for all APMMs is to show how Google's products and services help solve problems, including everyday issues or even rare ones. Furthermore, the program also provides a lot of learning and development through speaker sessions, training, and more. Most importantly, the APMM program lets you become part of a close-knit community where you can meet mentors, former APMMs, Googlers, and more. How do I become a Google Product Manager and APMM? To become an APMM, you need a few qualities such as a passion for tech and marketing, regardless of your background. Other than that, you need leadership qualities because APMMs are expected to be naturally motivated and self-starters. 
That means they also have to work well with cross-functional teams and thrive in collaborative environments. APMMs also need to have excellent problem-solving skills because they need to have a proactive approach to tackling all kinds of challenges. They need to be able to handle complexity, ambiguity, and change. Lastly, they also need to have creative and analytical skills. Creative intuition and analytical aptitude are crucial for tackling various kinds of projects and new product issues. Becoming a Google Product Marketing Manager Every Google Product Marketing Manager needs to have the skill set of a product marketer and a product manager. Recruiters often look for experience in both fields when hiring a Google PMM. Considering you have the necessary education and certifications, you can start your product career at a startup or an SME. After you have some relevant product experience, you can apply at Google as a product manager or a product marketer. After that, you can continue on your career path to becoming a Google product marketing manager. Brought to you by WeFly Media. Thank you for watching.